there is essentially a rear tie rod right back here and the bushing inside there is smoked. There's the offending side right there. Wow. Yeah, that's bad. Holy crap. That's not what you want your tie rod to look like. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean. This is Dream Cars Daily. And We've actually got a pretty full day today. Uh, got to get that exhaust taken care of. It's still dumping like into the exhaust space where the muffler would be. Uh, so we've got to get some pipes made. I got some really awesome new tips. I'm excited about them. I think they look really cool. So I'm excited to get those put on and possibly a cars and coffee depending on how long the exhaust takes. We've got to get tires done. There's so many things to do before the rally, and uh, I'm trying to squeeze them all into a couple of days here. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep my fingers crossed that we're going to get everything done and uh, that Luke has time to put the new wrap on. Uh, I don't know. I guess stay tuned. Oh, we're at Muffler Man. This shop is actually right next door to mine and they do exhaust and I don't do exhaust. So here we are. And this is what I'm excited about. Those I think are gonna go just like that. Oh, if you could smell that. I think that guy's got a stuck brake that is so bad. Yeah. All right, what's up guys? This is the last Cars and Coffee event of the year. Well, here in Michigan anyway, because it's starting to get cold. Uh, we brought the Lotus out. The Lotus was super sketchy on the way here. I don't know if it's because it needs tires or if I have a suspension problem, but that car is scaring the crap out of me right now. We are in St. Joseph, Michigan, which is uh, definitely a much smaller city than Kalamazoo, but seriously brought out some nice stuff. Got the uh, Volcano Orange 570S, that's sick. I've said it before, I'll say it again, my favorite color. I love McLarens in Volcano Orange. And I've had a Viper on my mind for a few weeks now, so yeah. Seeing like four or five Vipers here is probably not good for me. Or may not be good for my bank account, we'll see how that goes. It may not be everybody's thing, but this is a rare car right here. The XLRV, they only made a couple thousand of these total. And this one is apparently one of 26. Hey, who brought the cop car? Did you bring the cop car? Did I So I was just trying to figure out what kind of diesel you could shoehorn in this. <laughs> it's a Jeep tractor. <laughs> Back to see my old friends at Discount Tire. Yeah. Here's Eric. The, uh, the Lotus is shifting really, really bad. I'm hoping it's just the tires. Eric's got tires for me, so we're gonna get tires put on it and... Well, don't let him lie to you. He broke it. He broke something. It ain't the tires, he broke something. He's probably right. I mean, the way I drive it, it's very likely. Drive it? You drive like my grandpa, right? No, it's slow and easy going. 
Are you yeah. slow? I'll always drive like you're going to church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Eric got us all hooked up. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. You didn't break anything. <laughs> Nothing's broken. Yeah. The were pretty bad, though. Well, we don't know that we don't know that nothing's broken. <laughs> well, nothing that I can see in here. Uh, those are a lot better. We needed tires. <laughs> it's not fixed. It's still super scary to drive. The whole rear end feels like it's shifting under every acceleration, and then when you lift, it snaps back and off to the dealer. Yay! Good morning again. We're going to be shooting this vlog over the course of a couple of days here because we have so much stuff to do it can't all get done in one day. Uh, there's a little bit of damage to the paint protection film and that's got to get fixed. Uh, we got to do the paint protection film before we put the wrap over the top of it. We got Joel over here going to hook us up. Joel is taking a razor blade to the Lotus. Anybody cringing at home, he's a professional. He knows what he's doing. And if not, it's getting covered by a wrap anyway, right? Didn't even pierce. Didn't even, didn't even go all the way through. That's awesome. interested in getting well, around there. The, the curves right there look like they're going to be interesting yeah surf pro man like it never even happened <laughs> dude that looks absolutely amazing you're you are a professional i cannot even tell like dude there was a gouge here a couple gouges right here and gone and there's a seam there guys there is a seam here try to find it so in the mad dash to get this thing ready for rallying i said that we had issues with uh, some, with the car feeling uncomfortable. I'm gonna stop talking and show you what this does. A little hard to recreate on the ground, but that whole wheel moves. There is essentially a rear tie rod right back here and the bushing inside there is smoked. So Lotus dealer is coming to get this. They're taking it away, fixing the seat. They're hopefully, hopefully gonna have this fixed in time. And um, yeah, then we still got a million more things to do before we rally, but that's gotta get done. Tie rod probably, you know, 100% needs to have an alignment and uh, then rally time. Presumably, the last thing you saw was the Lotus being towed away. It's now two days later, the Lotus is done. It appears it was the tie rod, and they fixed the seat, and they said there was something else they took care of, too. So, 140-ish miles, and we'll have all the answers. I'm really excited. All, all this, of the, time, this time, I'm not chauffeuring you in the back. All of this the answers. Have a nice seat. <laughs> They're even going to tell us what's wrong with your car. Please do. I, I need to know. <laughs> it's, it's overdue for me getting to the bottom of this. We're at Auto Europe. The car is so... That car has not been that clean since the day I got it. There's, there's no way it's ever been that clean. That looks amazing. All right, guys, let's go inside. Okay, so I'll take that one, that one, that one. You know what? Just deliver them all. Well, they can just deliver them all, and um, I'll figure out where I'm putting them. I'm in love with the Ferrari. The 308? Yes. There's the offending side right there. Wow. Yeah, that's bad. Holy crap. That's not what you want your tie rod to look like. 
Auto Europe saved me. These guys are amazing. They couldn't get the parts for the seat, so he actually rigged it together for me. And, um, oh wait, no, I have to ask, what is the trick on that ABS connect, or not the AB, the uh, airbag connector on the seat? Is there some kind of trick to that? Is there like voodoo magic or something that gets that off of there? Yeah, I don't work on them. Charles has done so many. Holy of them. crap. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, I messed with it and messed with it, and then I looked it up on the internet, and I found a guy that after a half an hour just cut the wires and said, screw it. So, yeah. I'm like, I'm not cutting the wires. No, there's a certain way they cut the part of release. I just don't know what it is. A, a certain way as in they don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you so much. Not everybody's gonna find this beautiful, but the fact that this thing has been used this much, I find it gorgeous. I don't know if it's gonna come through on the camera, but I've decided I need to trade in my Lamborghini. This one has a cup holder. But it's the E-Gear. I, I don't know, man. I might trade the E-Gear for a cup yeah, holder. A cup holder manual, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> do you know how awful it is trying to drive with oh, something yeah. to drink? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shoot, I mean the, um, the RX-8 is exactly like that. Oh, yeah, that's different though. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most amazing thing ever. The seat moves. It has been so incredibly hard to get in and out of this car. And um, now it's not. exhaust tomorrow. This video is going to end up being a little bit chaotic because we're bouncing around trying to get everything done on this car. You ever wonder how to get a car on a lift when the arm doesn't fit? We have a solution. Done. I had this idea that this was gonna be super easy, but it turns out this little space right here is very difficult to work in. So he's had to make a couple of 90s and a whole lot of cuts to make this happen, but he's gonna get it in there. Final product is we went from this, which probably weighs easily 40 pounds, to this, which weighs about four. And I think it looks better. That looks sick with those exhaust tips and it's gonna sound so much better. Life is good today. We're gonna end this video. Like I said, it bounced all over the place. I know that it's been kind of a mess, but we've got so many things to do and I'm trying to squeeze in things where I can. Still working. Um, so that's the end of this video. We got new merch coming out, possibly a new car coming to the channel. Uh, we got the BMW still needs to be fixed. The Lamborghini is done. I've got to get that. It's gonna be crazy for a while and uh, we're just gonna do what we can to get these videos out to you and uh, you can follow along as much as possible. Go pick up some merch at purekalamazoo.com slash dreamcars. We got new merch. I'm trying to fit everything in here. Well, hopefully I got it all. Uh, new car, new merch, new wrap, new wraps. The Lamborghini's going under the knife too. And rally coming up. That's probably everything. Hit the subscribe button so you can follow along like these videos i you please like these videos i i need i need you to like these videos and i'll see you guys next video bye